Yo, what is up everybody? It is Paddy Killers here. Welcome guys back to a brand new Fortnite Paddle Royale tips and tricks video. In today's tips and tricks video, you guys have been killing the support on uh, the video I talked about how to basically, you know, become a better player, become a god at Fortnite. Guys got 45 likes on that video. That is incredibly amazing. We hit and uh, yeah, you guys kill the support. 45 likes, that is amazing. And I got 300 views. Now, you guys can do the um, same amount of support for this video. This video, I'm be telling you guys how to basically get more kills, how to get uh, kill records, how to beat your kill records, and basically win with a lot of kills. Leave a like, guys. Let's go for 40 likes. So yeah, guys, please smash the like button on this video. I'm going to be doing a V-Bug giveaway. I'm actually doing a V-Bug giveaway. Um, all you got to do is leave a like on this video, subscribe, and then basically follow my Twitter, twitter.com slash itspadakills. Leave a comment down below saying, basically, I want to know, guys, what is your favorite gun in Fortnite Battle Royale? Is it the sniper, the hunting, or if I want to know what your favorite gun is, you'll be entered. The giveaway will be announced next week on Thursday when uh, there's a new update coming out Thursday. Usually if there's a new update, we're going to give away a bunch of gift cards. So let's get right in this video. You guys, you're seeing the gameplay here. Uh, basically, you kind of want to go to populated areas. Now, you could do this without populated areas. Right now, the most popular areas are going to basically be, as I'm recording this video, is Flush Factory, uh, Tomato Town, and tilt the towers obviously and then you have got your retail rose salty springs pleasant parts now the reason why flush factory is very popular right now is because there's actually a challenge it's called uh, search seven chance in uh, flush factory very easy challenge i am not really going for challenges as much right now because like i feel like it's really easy to do like even like the thing is you go there you get one chest that's seven games bang and there's actually some secret chests i actually know where the secret chests are if you guys want another separate video on that i got you guys but yeah, so basically, there's obviously all you know, these little chest, uh, chest things. Go there, you get one. I'm basically not doing them. I don't really care too much. It's really easy to do. Um, if you want, if you're struggling with challenges, just do them like after a week. But no one's gonna go to Flush Factory. But right now, Flush Factory, a lot of people are gonna try to get kill records. There. I think you know if you can get out of Flush Factory with six, seven, eight kills. The thing is, you can easily get out of Flush Factory with six, seven, eight kills, even more. The thing is, uh, it's really bad after that because. Now, the thing after that is, you don't really, you know, the thing about Flush Factory, yeah, you can get 8, 10 kills out of Flush Factory. Then after Flush Factory, you leave Flush Factory, there's not really that many populated areas. I mean, you know, you can go to basically this factory place, not really, so not going to be people there. Um, you're not going to really find that many people on the bottom of the map. So, I mean, you can still get a lot of kills. I mean, you know, if you play your rotations right, um, the thing is, it's also bad if you're in the circle. I think, like, if you're in the circle... Uh, you really, like, to me, the thing is you have to go to, like, Fatal Field or something to really get a high kill game at Flush. And I just think Flush Factory is good for beginning. Then once you hit in the mid-game, after you leave Flush, there's really nowhere else to go. I mean, with Tilted Towers, uh, you go out of Tilted, bang, you get, like, 10 kills out of Tilted. You got, like, the entire map to explore because you can go anywhere. You can go to uh, Pleasant Park. You can go to the mountains. Uh, you can get some people on the mountains. You can go to, like, the southern part of the map. Or even the eastern part of the map by like Salty Springs and stuff. So Tilted is probably one of the best place to play your rotations. Now, for Tilted Towers, I might make a whole video talking about Tilted Towers because there's just so much. You wanna like you wanna get like the first four or five kills uh in buildings, then you wanna start hitting uh roofs. You wanna go on roofs at Tilted Towers. Um and this is the thing I don't even do that much. You wanna go on roofs and you wanna start picking off people at Tilted. As soon as you go on the roof, people are gonna start shooting at you and try to kill them. I uh, just really wanna just clear everyone at Tilted Towers, and after that you should get about eight, nine, ten kills. And then you basically want to play your rotation wherever the uh, uh, circle is. Now, you don't really want to spend too long on Tilted Towers. Sometimes, you know, you spend way too long in Tilted because, like, you know, the circles at Tilted, you, like, sometimes you can spend two to three circles at Tilted because uh, people keep coming. You kind of want to, like, do your rotations well and want to go to the different places. Usually people like to uh, go to, like, uh, people really like to go to hills. Also, people like to go to, like, Salty Springs and stuff. People like to go to populated areas after they've been looting and stuff to see uh, if there's extra loot there, extra shield there, or just some, some people just like to camp or just, you know, see if they can get some kills. So that's another tip um, that... So really, to me, the best place to land right now for kills would be uh, Tilted Towers. Now, Flush Factory, it's good and stuff, but mid-game, you're not going to you know, get the 20 kill bomb. You could... You're not going to. And the thing is, you kind of want to be aggressive. 
Uh, especially in the beginning. Like, in the beginning, when the game is starting, you want to play aggressive. Like, even if you get four kills, you know, you still want to play aggressive in the beginning because um, that's how you're going to get kills in the beginning. You don't want to sit back because a lot of, people die really fast in the beginning of the game. You just want to start rushing people. Uh, you just want to shotgun, bang, go for them headshots, kill them as fast as possible. Uh, you don't really want to take too much damage, heal, kill, kill, do that as much as possible. And you should get six, seven, eight kills out of your certain area. Even it also depends if uh, uh, people go there now once you do that you should be set up for the mid game because you should have some loot I want to harvest some materials you should be set it up for the mid game the mid game you just want to you know play your rotations correctly you know go to different places try to find some people go to places where you think you'd go like you know to get to get kills and stuff as you know do that and you should get more kills kill people the thing is you always want to have your guard up don't go like you know you kill someone and you're thinking oh i'm safe don't think that or you're gonna die this happened to me a lot where i kill somebody i heal up go out i'm totally unshielded 100 hp and then this kid just nails me down you just don't you want to always have your guard up always you know jump you know keep you know keep switching your weapons so you can hold your like you know make your hands warm which basically means you know you can switch weapons you want your hands to become rusty Another tip is uh, where the battle bus is starting. Now, this is a huge tip. Um, if the battle bus is starting at the beginning, a lot of people go there. And at the end, people don't know this, but at the end, um, you know, a lot of people, it's kind of mediocre. I think four or five, six people go at the end. It's just that people are really impatient. Uh, they just want to jump right away. They don't really care about the ending. Um, so, yeah, people just jump right away. Now, uh, especially if the bus is over, like, uh, Anarchy Acres Pleasant Park. Now, people would say, where do I want to go? Now, over, over this situation, it's basically half and half. I think about, like, 10 people go to Pleasant Park, and about, like, 9, 8 people, or even sometimes 12 people go to Anarchy Acres. And you also want to find a good place to land. Now, you, especially at Pleasant Park. At Pleasant Park, most people don't really go to the uh, uh, Treehouse house and the, like, the big blue house. Uh, like by the fields, nobody really goes there. Mostly people land on the other side of the house where like the brick house is, um, or like the dog house is, those kind of houses. This is where most of the people land, and you can easily kill people. Then you want to transfer to this side. Also, guys, another tip for you know trying to get kills is just, you just gotta have good loot on you. Um, you basically to me, you gotta have a AR, a shotgun, a uh, explosive, uh, preferably an RPG, a sniper rifle, and you want to have some sort of healings. I prefer mini shields because if you're going for high kill games, you're going to be in a lot of gunfights. Quick, quick, quick. You want to heal really quick. Minis, you know, they pop in like two seconds. Bang, you pop two minis. That's four seconds versus a full shield. Bang, you pop them. You should be good in some fights. Um, also, um, you know, you want to basically play it smart. You want to build a lot. And... That's one thing, and you also, uh, people are asking me, you know, when do I stop playing aggressive? Really, you'd want to stop playing aggressive at the end game? Um, a lot of people, like, say, oh, I want to go for that 20 bomb. I need to rush these last two people. Some people start doing that, and yeah, you, you, you kind of want to rush people if you want to get your kill record. Sometimes you can get yourself killed. Uh, also, you just got to be lucky. You got to be lucky uh, that people don't kill each other that much. You also want to become, you want to go in third party gunfights. If, if you don't, what that means it's basically if two people are fighting each other, you kind of want to become the third party, try to kill both of them, try to see which one's weaker, kill them, kill the other guy. That's another important thing. Or hell, even going to four party, five party gunfights to even help you uh, win in Fortnite, uh, not to help you win, uh, help you get more kills. Now, my highest kill game was actually 17 kills, uh, solo squad yesterday. I played solo squad, got second place. I'm, I actually did not record it. I was recording it. Uh, they didn't record it, unfortunately. But yeah, I got 17 kills solo squad. Um, yeah, so uh, again, this video is preferably for solo. But again, if you're playing duos, it's kind of the same thing, you know? So yeah, guys, here's basically all the tips I have to get high kill games. If I'm missing something, leave a comment down below and tell me what it is. Also, guys, subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. I want you guys to kill the support, man. I'll, and guys, subscribe. We're about to hit 1.2 thousand subscribers, and I actually have a special uh, giveaway. I'll be giving away some uh, uh, games. Uh, also, that so guys, please subscribe. I want you guys to also subscribe to my second channel, Paddy Kills Two. Uh, on Paddy Kills Two, I'm thinking of doing some Fortnite Save the World live streams, or just like Fortnite battle royales stuff. What? Because usually I want to stream when I want to stream on my main channel. I want to stream for like six hours. <laughs> But if I'm just going to do like a one, two hour stream, I'm probably just going to uh, hop onto my uh, 
Take an account, stream there for like an hour, have some fun. Nothing too serious there. So guys, please subscribe to my second channel, Paddy Kills 2. Link will be in the description down below as plus as all my other social media links, including Twitter, Twitch. Don't really live stream too much on Twitch because I've transferred to YouTube much better. And obviously Instagram, Snapchat, all that guys. Leave a like, subscribe. Catch you guys in the next video. Peace.